Good morning. Your name? I am Trinath Chakra. Okay, Trinath, can I have your resume? Yes. Trinath, could you introduce yourself? Yes, sir. I am, I am Trinath Chakra from Lujbu. I have completed my graduation at CRD College, Bailur. And I have completed my post graduation Master of Computer Applications MCA at Mohan Babu University, Tirupati. During my education, I have done a project on blockchain technology which is used for securing a legal document in a digital era. And coming to my hobbies, I am uh, in my free time, uh, I am more interested to listen to music and traveling and I, I would like to manage our own agriculture lands which is used to improve my responsibilities and patience. And coming to my skills, I am more expert on uh, c -shot, SQL Server and HTML. Thank you for giving me. Okay, Tirna. So, what are the access modifiers? Yes, sir. I mean, your access modifiers. Access modifiers are uh, public, private, protected, internal, and public uh, protected, private protected. Okay. Yes. So, what are the default access modifiers? Default access modifiers. Uh, default access modifiers are public, private. Okay. Next one, one is also presented as an internal. Most of the times we are using as a private and internal one. Right. So if you are not giving the public keyword or internal keyword, if you want to access means mandatory we need to access with the help of a public keyword only. By defaultly here it is presented as a private. Right. So what are the OOPS principles? OOPS principles. Uh, encapsulation, inheritance, abstraction, and polymorphism. Okay. So what is inheritance? Inheritance. Inheritance is, is nothing but acquiring of a properties properties from, from one class to another class. From uh, for example, like from parent class to the child class. Okay, what are the types of the inheritance we have? Yes, sir. Uh, types of inheritance are uh, single inheritance, multi-level inheritance, multiple inheritance, hierarchical inheritance. Those are come under the types of inheritance. So, what is boxing and unboxing? Boxing and unboxing. Boxing and unboxing is nothing but boxing. Uh, in boxing, uh, we can convert from a data from a, a value type to reference type. In uh, unboxing, uh, unboxing is simply you can say that uh, we can convert uh, data from reference type to the value type. Okay. So, what is the difference between for loop and while loop? For loop and while loop. Uh, in for loop, when we know that. Uh, uh, we know that in advance that we can uh, execute this, we will go for the for loop. In while loop, uh, in only a single condition, we can uh, do that program to execute. So, what is a method? Method, method is nothing but uh, which uh, all the data or all the instance objects are all are stored in the what are the variables and uh, what are the what, what are the instances we are identifying all are the inside the method. Okay, now what is the difference between value type and a reference type? Value type and reference type. Value type is a we can value type. Value type is simply we can say that we can string uh, convert data to string type to the string type to the normal integer type. But uh, coming to the reference type, we can uh, convert data from any data type to one data type to any data type. So, what is the managed record and the unmanaged record? Managed record and unmanaged record. Uh, we can simply say that uh, managed record and unmanaged record. Managed, managed record uh, is which is taking the help of CLR, common language, uh, common language runtime, which is which is only mostly involved in the uh, execution process, uh, which is taking help of CLR, it is known as a managed, uh, and uh, which is not taking help of a CLR, it is known as a unmanaged. So, what is the purpose of the garbage collector? Garbage collector. Garbage collector is an uh, integral component which is, uh, it is, it mostly plays a very important key role in memory management. Which is, uh, it plays very uh, important role in uh, two roles, uh, allocating a memory and deallocating a memory. Allocating memory. When, uh, when an object is uh, created by application, it is a user, user application, then uh, it will allocate a memory block, one specific memory block to the application, 
the data. Uh, it will uh, give one specific block to store the data. Uh, coming to the DRKT, when uh, it recognizes that it is uh, unused or uh, it is not useful, then it will destroy the memory block. Okay. okay. So, what is the difference between parsing and converting? Parsing and converting. Parsing and converting is nothing but parsing. Parsing is parsing and converting. converting. Parsing is nothing but parsing. In parsing, we can convert the data from. Uh, we, can, we can convert the data from. String data type to. Uh, we can convert string data type to any type. Any other data Except to bool data type. Yes. Okay. Converting, so, we can, what is the purpose of the converting? Converting, you can convert from one data type to any data type. That should be mandatory, mandatory. printed data type. So, whereas a parsing, we can able to convert string to any other data types. So, what is the difference between method and a constructor? Method and constructor. Method, when method is method, we can simply say that method. When method is when we create a method, we need to, uh, we, we need to especially create the object. If, if it is a non static method, then we need to create an object uh, by using a one reference variable. We will create an object and we will call the method. Which we, uh, by using by calling that method, we, which are the instances and uh, what is the data inside the method, we can uh, simply call all those all data inside the object by using reference variable. Uh, coming to the constructor, constructor is nothing but a, it is similar to a method, but uh, method. Which which the name of the class is presented in the which is the name of the class it is also a construct name should be the same then it is called as a construct. Okay. In class, if I am declaring as a private, can I able to access in the other class? Is it possible or not possible? No? Private sir, not not possible. Sir. So why it is not possible? Because uh, it is private no, sir. In, in public, we can uh, access from uh, one class to another class, but in the private, it is a uh, it is an uh, ag private is an uh, access modifier that will not allow to access in other class because it is private. Uh, the data will be stored in a private class. Okay, it is not it is can't be able to access. So in non-static variables, if I'm not assigning the any value. The system will generate any default values or it will not generate that any default values. If in non static variable. Suppose if I am declaring one variable, for that variable I did not assign any value. Okay. For that value, the system will generate any value or not? No. Means the system will not generate the any value. If when we define the value in the printing statements, then we can. Uh, okay. So then what is default values? Default values means. Default values are nothing but when we can't, when we not give the values in the, when we have not presented the values in the data in the in the static or etc. Then we can. It's previously I said the same, right? So what did I say that? So in the non-static, mostly for the default. Data types uh, means for the default values, we are getting the default values only for the static variables and as well as non static variables. Right? So, for the non static variables only, we can able to get the data. Means it will generate that some of the default values that will be generated by the or .NET programmers. Right? So, can you write uh, prime numbers program? So just write the logic directly. Now write the logic directly. I need to know that whether the number is a prime or not. Yes.
ओके ठीक ना सो व्हाट इज अ क्लास क्लास इज नथिंग बट इज अ लॉजिकल एंटिटी इन क्लास इट कैन इज अ लॉजिकल एंटिटी एंड इट इज अ ब्लूप्रिंट ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट ओके सो देन व्हाट देन व्हाट इज अ ऑब्जेक्ट 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 कंटेंट्स इज ओन स्टेट एंड बिहेवियर इट इज अ लॉजिकल फिजिकल एंटिटी there is class is a logical entity object is a physical entity and it has its own state and behavior okay tignath okay that's all thank you